No. We just say live yeah. vicariously. Oh, okay. right. Here, please. You are welcome. It is nice. Well, now it's a third down that Middle Tennessee faces. That all-important first down, Quint told you. Under pressure again, and Cunningham goes down. It's Jonah Tavai, the game record. Middle Tennessee had a 10 and a half oh. hour flight. It's a fake here on fourth down, and San Diego State converts. Rumbling into plus territory, it's the defensive end, Garrett Fountain. But how about a little trickeration early on? He's your up back here. You know, a little blase, fourth down, no one paying attention, and terrific blocking on that left side. Second down and 10. Time for Maiden. He uncorks one for Matthews, who goes up to get it down the center of the field. 31 yards. Big gains of 27 on the fake punt and 31 through the air to Jesse Matthews. Maiden looks to the end zone for a touchdown to Mark Redman. And San Diego State strikes first here in Hawaii. He was open by like seven yards. Just a tremendous move. You'll see the tail end of him. That's what I'm talking about. You're seeing a little bit more of them in the face of the receivers. They bring pressure. It's a check down for Keenan Kristen. We told you about the speed. Kristen is gone. 73 yards for the touchdown. And when he recognized that, he said, well, let me turn on the juice. And he's got speed to burn. A little slip screen got him out there, but the blocking was absolutely tremendous. You had two linemen who could not find anybody to block. And Jeff Horton knows the types of head coaches that he's been a coordinator for. On the ground on second down for Jordan Bird. And he is wrapped up by a very good defensive line as well. Quindarius Dunnigan on the tackle for a loss of one. Targeting him. They read the scout on slowing down the sixth year senior who is a game wrecker in his own right. Much like Jonah Tavai. Jalen Lane made the first couple guys miss from his own 15, accelerates upfield past the 35. A defensive stop, a punt return of 21 from Lane. They haven't had that yet. Quick throw, Cunningham with a completion. To one of his best weapons, Jalen Lane, who is bumped out of bounds, shy of the 30. I like you standing up for the DBs. Thank you. Zeke Rankin from 44 yards is good. With 34 career sacks already. One more to become the leader at Middle Tennessee. He's coming off the edge, bringing pressure on Maiden, who throws a pick. It is the ball magnet to Corey and Patterson. Frank Peace at the running back, and mm. Cunningham goes down. Mm. Sacked by Keyshawn Banks in that front six in the 3-3-5 for San Diego State. Pressure again on Cunningham, and it's back-to-back -back Banks sacks. It's no man's land. You might as well go for it. You can't make a field goal. Empty set for Cunningham. Pressure comes again and again. Cunningham goes down and and getting a good jump on the ball. He's looking eager to get back in this game as the sun is now setting on this far sideline. And on second down and throw so to the sideline yeah, and that is caught. We told you he is excellent. Wow. And Browning pulls it. Wow. Yeah, and then they had lost three in a row. <laughs> before yesterday. We'll see him against the Bucks tomorrow. San Diego State by 11 and on the pitch to Keenan Kristen. He couldn't handle it. And Middle Tennessee with another takeaway. It's Christian Dixon, the linebacker. Nothing wrong with the toss. He just dropped it. And now, if you're Middle Tennessee, this is the second opportunity for a short field and a chance to get points. Four defensive linemen into the game for Middle Tennessee on fourth down. They fake the pitch. Cunningham to throw for Ferguson for a touchdown. Are you kidding? The big fella. That's his first touchdown catch. 
he has done a whole lot of everything <laughs> in his career. But but that was that was a heck of a route and a catch. Not even 50 yards of total offense, but they're within four. After the penalty on the return, Maiden under pressure, and Maiden goes down. He is sacked inside the 15 by Jalen Davis leading the charge. They go quickly out of an empty set, and Cunningham has to get rid of it. He threw it toward the sideline and intercepted by Des Malone. Trying to throw it away, but threw it in the wrong direction. You got to throw it out of bounds, not up in the field of play. Falling away, didn't have the arm strength to get it out of bounds. But that ball has got to go into the third row. Only second down. You can throw it away. Which Cunningham did not on the last possession for Middle Tennessee. On second down, he's under pressure again. Juked away from a couple, but then wrapped up by Justice Tavai with the sack from 49 for Zeke Rankin. Kyle Ulbrich, the holder. Rankin's kick on its way, and Rankin is good. Awesome. What an awesome kick. A couple of tight ends into the game here for Middle Tennessee ahead of first down from the 24. Cunningham throws up the sideline to Isaiah Gathings. Two and white, bottom of your screen on third down and one. Cunningham gets dragged down. Michael Shawcroft got home. Another sack for San Diego State. They've got six of them. Well, now it's 42 yards for Rankin, who hit from 44 and 49 in the first half. And Rankin misfires. Second down for Maiden, and he throws a pick right to Teldrick Ross. It is another San Diego State turnover. Middle Tennessee with a short field again after turnover number three. And a little bit out of range of Shavers, who's six foot six. So he's thrown to a spot, and there's no way for Shavers to get there. But the presence. He's been busy. And Rankin. Gives Middle Tennessee its first lead. Jack Browning, who missed, you see, from 43. They'll call it 39 for the veteran kicker. And Jack Browning is good with plenty of room to spare. The temperature has dropped a good 10 degrees, and, and not having the direct sunlight will really help these athletes finish this one off. Cunningham was under pressure, and he threw a dart to the sideline for D.J. Anglin Chisholm for a first down. He hasn't been involved a whole lot until now. On the campus of the University of Hawaii. Big third down for Middle Tennessee. And Chase Cunningham is swarmed. Jonah Tavai with another Aztec sack, and it brings up fourth down. Pass is batted, and did Jordan Ferguson pick it off? He did! Just a sack away from being the all-time sack leader. Now, watch the pressure on the right side. That's done again, and he gets his hands up. Prospects for the next level, as Quint was talking about with Jonah Tavai, and say the same about Jordan Ferguson. On second down, it's a slant. Jalen Lane breaks free for a touchdown. And Middle Tennessee's back in front here in the fourth. Cunningham put this ball on the money. Let's watch. Quick slant. Run through the tack. They went through Braxton Burmeister and three different freshmen before they settled on Maiden. On second down, he sets up the screen for Keenan Christen. Who rips off another big one, and Kristen is bumped out of bounds by Trey Flewellen, saving a touchdown. 39 Chris, yards. Christian was great, but, but the play is made here. Look how long he held on to that ball and invited the rush in and just dropped the ball over. Mountain West Special Teams Player of the Year, Jack Browning from 36 yards. And good. And now here in gorgeous Honolulu. On a rollout, made it to the air and complete to Tyrell Shavers for a chunk play in the plus territory, wrapped up at the 40 after 31 yards. 
Long this season is 50 yards back in September. And Browning on its way and good. Nervous moments for Rex Stockstill. Zeke Rankin from 37 for the lead on its way and good. He's got that swagger. San Diego State without timeouts. On second down and 12, Maiden under pressure. Maiden is dragged down by Zaylin Wood. For Middle Tennessee has been outstanding, but let's see if they give him a high one. Had just gone off after the incompletion. Back in, it's Maiden across the middle on a lateral that's bobbled, bouncing around in Middle Tennessee, trying to put this on ice. Teldrick Ross comes up with it. And Middle Tennessee can salt it away. What else would you want? He got, he, he got a touchdown and a pick. <laughs> That's what you get in the Easy Post Hawaii Bowl. A bath for Rick Stockstill and a bowl win and an eight win season for Middle Tennessee. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.